I'm the Friendly Scoutmaster. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to tie the knots that you need to know. Alright, we're going to tie a square knot. So, the way I like to remember it is take the right over the left. And then the left over the right. Should look like this. Pull it tight. If you can do this, then you've tied a proper square knot. All right, we're going to tie two half hitches. You need a piece of rope, and it's usually tied around an object. In this case, I'm going to use this wooden pole. And there's two different ways to tie this hitch, and I'm going to show you the way that I tie it and explain why. So take your rope and put it on top of the pole. Okay, you're going to bring it around like so, and then you're going to take the end, okay, and you're going to go through that hole right there, all right, and then you're going to bring it under and back through and see how symmetrical that is. Okay, all you do is tighten it up. That is two half hitches. The book shows you a slightly different way to tie it. And the reason I like to tie it this way is because if you tie it this way, when you go to learn how to tie the taut line hitch, it's just one more loop. And the difference between the two half hitches and the taut line hitch is with the two half hitches. When I go to pull this, it'll tighten up on the object, in this case, the pole. If this were a taut line hitch, and I went to pull it, it would stay still. The only way to adjust it would be to take tension off of it, and then adjust it where I wanted, and then I'd pull it. But that would be if this were a taut line hitch, which it's not. This right here is two half hitches. Again, two half hitches, you can, when you pull on it, it'll cinch down on itself. So that's two half hitches. All right, we're going to tie a taut line hitch. So you need your rope and something to tie it around. This is typically done on a pole or on a tent. You'll take your rope like so. Make sure you have plenty of space. And like the taut line hitch, you're going to pull it through that hole once and then twice. Okay, so it looks very similar to two half hitches. And you're going to put it back through like two half hitches. And we'll pull it tight. And now, hold the pole. When I pull on this, you'll notice it doesn't move. Okay, that's the difference between a taut line hitch and two half hitches. Now I can adjust this, okay, like on a tent for your rain fly to keep it tight. And then when I pull on this, so I'm pulling on this, okay, the hitch doesn't move. That is a taut line hitch. All right, let's tie a sheet bend. It's primarily used to tie two pieces of short rope together to make one longer piece of rope. So the first thing you do is make a loop out of one piece of rope. You take the end of your other piece of rope, you pass it up through the loop, like so. Then you bring it around underneath, in this case the red rope, okay, and there's a little hole right here. You're going to pass this through that hole. So notice it's on top of the two pieces of red rope, but under the white rope. I'm going to say that again. The ropes come up through the loop in the red rope, the white rope. It's gone underneath both red ropes. It's come up and now it's on top of both red ropes, but under this white rope. And when I pull on it, it will tighten. 
And now you have, instead of two pieces of shorter rope, you have one longer piece of rope. That's the sheet bend. All right, we're gonna tie the bowline. I have my rope, and I have the end of my rope here. I'm gonna pull it down for some distance here, some length of rope. I make, the first thing I gotta do is make this loop. Notice the end of the rope passes on top of the other rope. That's important, okay? Let's pretend this is a tree trunk, and let's call the end of the rope the rabbit. This is how I learned how to do this. The rabbit comes up from out of the hole, okay? He runs around the tree trunk, so he runs behind the tree trunk, and then he runs back down into the hole. So it kind of looks like that. So I have a tree trunk, I have a hole, okay? And then my rabbit, the end of the rope, ran up, out of the hole, he, the rabbit ran up around the back of the tree trunk and then back down into the hole. And so if I pull down on this, it looks like that. Now the great thing about a bowlin is if I pull on this, it will not ever tighten up. This is a really good knot to know in an emergency if you need to, say, pull somebody up a cliff or maybe rescue somebody from water, but that may not work very well because this loop will never tighten around their chest or their waist. If you had two, if this were two half hitches, if you pulled on it, it would cinch up around their chest or their waist and you would crush their chest or you would suffocate them. If it were a taut line hitch, okay, when you pull on it, it stays still, but then if you take tension off of it, it could adjust, and then you pull on it again and it stays still. If you're not careful, it would not be ideal to use in a rescue situation because technically you could pull a taut line hitch up around somebody's chest or their waist, but this is a bowline. This, this loop will never, ever change, so that's what it's good for. All right, let's tie a timber hitch. You're gonna have a piece of rope and you're normally gonna tie this around a log or a tree trunk, okay? So take your rope, you simply wrap it around the tree trunk and then you simply wrap it through the hole once, twice, three times, Go at least four times. Okay, then all you gotta do is, it works really great around a tree trunk. And all you gotta do is cinch it down, like so. And then when I pull on this, it's not gonna move. And it works really great on a tree trunk because of the bark. The bark is like friction. So if you needed to pull it to the side, it's, uh, you know, to drag the log, it's, it's not going to come undone. This is a really, really handy hitch to know. It's called the timber hitch. All right, let's tie a clove hitch. I have my rope and I have my tree log. In this case, we have a stand-in of a pole. And all we do is wrap it around. Make sure you get plenty of length of rope. And then we're just gonna make an X. Okay, do you see the X? I'm just gonna put my finger here to hold it. Okay. So now I have my other piece of rope here, the end, and I'm just gonna pass it through and then pull this tight. Okay, it still makes an X, but do you see the symmetry of the clove hitch? So the difference between the clove hitch and the timber hitch is the clove hitch will come undone if I pull on it because the log will roll and the clove hitch will come undone. A timber hitch, it won't come undone. So let me show you what happens if you pull on the clove hitch when it's tied around a log. It'll pull like this, 
and the log will rotate around and then it'll come undone. And that's the difference between a timber hitch and a clove hitch. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you found anything in this video valuable at all, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you for watching.